Well, welcome to a new video and in this video it's all about the Huawei FreeBuds 4 that I will unbox and show you with a small review. So let's get started. So let's get them unboxed. As you can see here the box itself looks similar to the last years, no it is two years ago FreeBuds 3, uh, similar design and you also get like a six month of uh, Huawei music for free. As you can see here, here are the specs, open fit design, active noise cancellation 2.0, so an upgraded active noise cancellation in comparison to the FreeBuds 3, high resolution sound with uh, 40 kHz wide range speakers, air like comfort, uh, dual device connection, so we have now the possibility to connect two devices at the same time, swipe and tap twice to press and hold controls and 22 hours of playback with the case. So those are the specs. Let's get this unboxed now and we'll see what is in the box. Probably the same that we got with the FreeBuds 3 as well. So let's open up the box. Yeah, we lift it up. We have the Huawei logo. We have keep metal contacts clean uh, written here. We can get this box out, this pillar shape. And we have also the option here, take and remove earphones as instructed. So how to remove them, it's pretty much the same as with the FreeBuds 3. So nothing has changed there. The pillar shape is a bit smaller, I think, than on the FreeBuds 3. And we have a USB-C um, connection here for charging. And we should have a button here for connecting if you want to connect. Otherwise, if you have a Huawei device, you can just simply uh, open it up next to the Huawei device and it should connect. What else do we have here? As it's not an in-ear design, but just open fit design, we only get a cable here, a USB-C to USB-A cable, as you can see here. And we have some documentation as well here, if I can get it out, uh, where we have probably warranty and some other uh, instruction manuals, quick start guide, yeah, it's a quick start guide in different uh, languages as well and warranty and safety information about this product. And then some stickers at the bottom uh, telling the serial number of this device. And yeah, this is basically everything. So let's get to the pairing process. So now we have the FreeBuds 4 here. This is, by the way, the white case, of course, the white version. There's also a black version and a new silver version, the same silver that you also saw on the FreeBuds Pro. And what we want to do now is connect to this uh, MatePad Pro that's running, by the way, Harman US. So let's open it up and see what happens. It is blinking red here. And there we have it, FreeBuds 4. And I can click on connect and it's connecting now to the FreeBuds 4, connection successful. I can take them out and put them in my ear. But before I do this, let me show you how the FreeBuds look like. Looks a hell lot like the old FreeBuds 3, maybe a tiny bit smaller and lighter. But the openings, the sensors, the opening here, this is new, I think. And this silver ring here on the bottom doesn't have any holes there. It has a hole here. A new design. Before they had like an open design here for the wind to go through, but they changed it slightly. So yeah, these are the earbuds. And yeah, I can use one earbud and the other one as well. And this is how they look like. So what I would want to do now is, of course, test them out, see and hear how good they are when it comes to music hearing, and then I will tell you my experience with the FreeBuds 4. So first impression is like very good audio quality. The bass is a little bit stronger than on the FreeBuds 3, I think. I will make a separate video about the comparison with the FreeBuds 3. But in general, I'm pretty happy with those. They're also fitting a bit better in my ears than the FreeBuds 3. And uh, also the sound quality is very good. You have the controls that are very intuitive. Double tap to skip, uh, to, to pause or play a video or an audio track. 
and uh, long press for skipping or switching through noise cancelling on or noise cancelling off and noise cancelling on is really working nice I think it's just working way better than on a 3 buds 3 this is my first impression at least it is filtering out more noise and what is pretty new to those are you can swipe up and swipe down for controlling the uh, volume of the free bars, which is pretty nice so if I'm playing something I can make it louder by swiping up or swiping down for swiping down I have to hold them at the stems otherwise it will fall out of my ear but in general I think this is a good uh, nice uh, gesture swiping down for lowering the volume swiping up for making it louder and double tapping for pause of course we will take a look at the application now to see what we can configure for the FreeBuds 4 so this is the AI Live app that you use to control the FreeBuds 4. If you don't have the option to see the FreeBuds 4 here, download the AI Live app from the Huawei App Gallery. If you have a Huawei device, it comes already pre-installed. If I'm connected now, I have several different options. First of all, I can see, of course, the charging level of the case and of the buds. I have a connection center because I have the option to connect them to multiple devices, like two devices at least. And uh, these are here, as you can see, it's connected to my MatePad Pro right now and the Mate 40 Pro. What I will do now is try to get the screen recording started. Should go with a double tap, but it's not working. So let's do it here so we can see also something from the screen. Hopefully it is also using the audio now from the uh, FreeBuds. If it's not, then I'm using just the overlay. Anyway, we have the connection center, dual connections. We can set a preferred device and we can configure those devices in here, like auto connect them or not. So if you have like a device like the Mate 40 Pro, I don't want to auto connect to it. I can either unpair or say no auto connect, which is pretty nice and handy. And then we have noise canceling that we can turn on and off. You don't have any other controls of the noise canceling, at least on this app. Then we have sound quality. Here I have only HD calls for the tablet, which might be a limit, limit for the tablet. Uh, but uh, more on this later, I will show you a nice recording um, or a nice video about the Mate 40 Pro that has uh, more options there. In the shortcuts, we have the option to answer and enter call, which is a double tap on one of the left or the either the left or the right earbud. I can change this to something else. As you can see here, play next song, previous song, uh, wake the voice assistant or none for the left or right earbud. Uh, I have the press and hold option for rejecting a call if a call is coming in or enabling uh, noise cancelling. I can also uh, I can not change this as you can see here these are currently not changing uh, changeable for the swipe I can adjust volume there's no other option for this so the only thing that I can configure is the double tap option everything else is just uh, set already and I'm not able to change it I have find my earphones option which will beep very loud and I have a wear on feature where I have a smart wear detection so it will uh, pause when I put one of my earbuds out of my ear it will pause the music and then put it in uh, it will continue with the music I have the update option already installed the update which is version 191.188 currently and I have some help options as well so these are the options for the FreeBuds uh, 4 at least on this device let's go to the uh, Mate uh, 40 Pro and I'll show you some more advanced options there so here's the AI Live app on the Mate 40 Pro and connect my FreeBuds 4. I have another option here for noise cancelling. If I turn it on, I have the option to choose between the cozy mode or general mode. So this is pretty interesting, cozy mode, uh, less noise cancelling and uh, the general mode for noisy places. Then under sound quality, I have the option to record with my earphones, turn it on and then choose the pickup mode, either voices or surroundings. I'm not turning this on right now, otherwise it will switch to the microphone from the uh, FreeBuds. And I can also 
enable HD calls here, as well as some HQ effects like Bass Boost and Treble Boost. So these are basically the only differences between this app and the one on the MatePad Pro. And now this is a video recording with the FreeBuds 4 and they have the possibility to be used as uh, wireless microphones as well. So if I have them in my ear, I can use them as wireless microphones. And we had this feature already on the FreeBuds Pro. It came later with an Emotion UI 11 update. And now with the FreeBuds 4, it is out of the box in there. And I'm pretty interested how this will work and look like in terms of audio quality even if i go out here and you might hear some birds in the background playing and uh, yeah is my voice still understandable it has the possibility to be optimized either for voices which is the default setting or also for the surroundings so if you want to have some yeah atmosphere that you capture with the microphone you can do this as well but now i'm using the voice one which should work pretty nice and should record in the 48 uh, kilohertz uh, region which is pretty awesome and competes then with other wireless microphones and i'm pretty interested to hear how this will sound like you can write down in the comment section what you think about these wireless uh, microphones in the freebuds 4 pretty awesome with the FreeBuds 4 is also the HD sound quality that you can hear right now using the microphones allows you to uh, be used also for video calls or audio calls so phone calls as well this only works with a few devices I could imagine that Huawei devices just like my Mate 40 Pro that I'm recording this with would work nicely with this but other android devices should work as well with this hd audio recording and uh, yeah this is still the voice feature uh, using on the freebuds 4 and uh, yeah let's switch to the surrounding recording to see if anything changes now we are in the surrounding recording and you should have hear a little bit more of the uh, outside noise my voice changes probably as well a little bit uh, gets a bit deeper as well because voices usually are a bit higher so it's capturing a bit higher uh, tones and filters the rest out you might hear some uh, cars in the background because it's a street and uh, maybe some neighbors even uh, upstairs so uh, this is the recording with the uh, voice Mm, with the microphone not in voice control but in um, the surrounding option uh, and yeah what do you think about this recording so what is my conclusion on the huawei freebuds 4 that i have of course on here for this little conclusion uh, video take i think they're a good nice improvement upon the freebuds 3 the sound quality is as good as the FreeBuds 3. So if you don't like the very bass heavy FreeBuds Pro and you like the open fit design more, these might be for you. What they changed is a little bit the design of the FreeBuds. In general, it stays the same. It is lighter than the FreeBuds 3, so it fits good in the ear. Sometimes I have to press them in a little bit here like this. So I get a nice ceiling and this is the problem of the open fit design. If you have a nice ceiling, you get wonderful, fantastic uh, sound quality, good bass, good mids, good highs. And uh, yeah, one of the best open fit free uh, but ever or one of the best headphone with this open fit design that happens to be also Bluetooth. When it comes to the charging case, it is a bit smaller. I like this as well. Also very light. The battery could be better. This is one of the issues that I had already with the FreeBuds 3 and with the FreeBuds 4. Sadly, they did not really fix it. So four hours aroundish without ANC and with ANC on three, three and a half hours, maybe even less, depending on how high you hear stuff. If I'm walking around on the street and I have to, even with noise cancelling because open fit, I have to raise the volume a bit. It could be that they only, uh, yeah, give you two, two and a half hours of um, uh, battery life, which is, I think, a bit low for uh, ANC true wireless earbuds. But in general, very handy, very quick to charge. You can plug them in and in a few minutes they're charged and ready to go for another for another two hours or so, which is uh, pretty, pretty handy. And of course, the charging case can 
uh, charge them four or five times, which is also pretty nice and uh, great. In general, I also like the new option that I can use them as wireless microphones, so I don't have to stick to my wireless microphone that is uh, lying around here, or my Sony one, which of course has better sound quality. But uh, if you only have the earbuds and want to record some quick vlog or something like this, you can use them. And now they have even the option where you can say, okay, I only want to concentrate on voice and not so much on surroundings, a feature that the FreeBuds Pro, for example, don't have. Maybe they will get that in the future. I'm not so sure but this is very good also for vlogging and those people who like to vlog with the earphones on because of the open fit design you can have the earphones on you can hear yourself still you can hear your surroundings still but the voice can be recorded very clearly through the earbuds so in general i'm a big fan of the freebuds i like the open fit design um, if i want to listen to music i had have, have normal earphones that uh, cover the ear completely and uh, those I really like for listening to really good music. But if I like to listen to podcasts, walk around on the street, I really like not to have this this normal earbuds in because then you don't hear your surroundings if someone is talking to you, uh, asking you a question or anything else that, that you might not listen uh, or hear. Uh, might be bad so the open fit design i like more to to still have a bit of my surrounding uh, being aware of what's going around me but still um, having the option to listen to podcasts or some music so this is my conclusion of the freebuds 4 it's a great successor for the freebuds 3 uh, if you have already the freebuds 3 there is not a single reason to get the FreeBuds 4, actually. The only thing might be the audio recording using it as a wireless microphone. But if you don't have this uh, particular um, particular yeah, thing that you want to use them uh, on, this particular, how's it called? This particular um, workflow, this particular need of having them as wireless microphones, then really no reason to get them over the FreeBuds 3. The only thing is like what if you have the chance to check both is check how they fit in your ear. I think the FreeBuds 3 are a little bit bigger and they might fit in bigger ear ears a little bit easier than the FreeBuds uh, 4 which are a little bit smaller and uh, yeah it depends all on your ear size of, as well because they don't have silicone tabs, tips so you have to yeah count this in and also check out if you have the option to check them out um, check them out how good they fit how good is the microphone how good is the ceiling if you want to hear clear good bass you have to have a good ceiling otherwise bass will be lacking so this is it for the FreeBuds 4 what do you think is this open fit FreeBuds a good design or not and by the way you can only charge via USB-C this one doesn't have the charging coil for Qi while it's charging there will be another version which is slightly more expensive that has also the Qi charging coil. I'm not sure why they do this, but uh, what I would wish from Huawei here would be, I told this already from the FreeBuds uh, free side, having this open fit design with the option to also put a silicone tip on if you want to, to get like the good sound quality that they clearly have. If you have a proper ceiling, you can hear how good they sound. Um, for those people who have problems with the fit. That would be very awesome if Huawei would do something like this in the future. And uh, yeah, this is basically everything. Do you have the FreeBuds 3 or the FreeBuds 4? Uh, what do you think about them? Write them down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.